Hey everyone, Zala Takuri here. Hope you're all okay and well. And today we are back with some more The Long Dark. We're going to be completing episode 3 today. I don't know how much left there is. I know that we have to go through a cave tunnel system to get through the mountain to get to episode 4. Um, so I imagine this is going to be probably a shorter stream one today. Uh, but let's just get into it. Um, I will uh, apologise today. Um, I am feeling 100% today. To be honest, I'm not feeling 100% today, but I'm feeling a little bit better than I did yesterday, so I'm just going to kind of plough through it. So if I'm not as chatty as normal, I apologise. I'm currently dealing with a migraine, so I'm going to do what I can. Um, I've, I've, as I know, this will be shorter than normal. Uh, then I'm going to take a break, and then I'm going to come back, and hopefully, if I'm still feeling up to it, I'm going to stream again. I'm going to Persona 4. And we'll see how I... Anyway! <laughs> My controller feels like me today. Anyway, let's get to it. We have to leave the confined safety of our uh, area. I feel like I should take some of my material with me. Let's have a look at my mish. Look how it's like, you have something in here, but I haven't. Oh, is this the map? Is that the map you told us to go? Okay, so we have to go over the bridge, up to where we saw the signs that say no trespassing for like the mines, which I mentioned in a previous stream. Follow that through, go over, over a tree, past another tree, follow it to a road into a, what would have been a tunnel i'm guessing so that's where we gotta go that's fair enough <laughs> right what material did i put down here that i possibly i can't even remember. uh i don't have a lot of, i don't have a lot of gathering space anyway i am gonna take my wolf pelt with me at least uh how's my clothing oh taking stuff off 98 of 48 I could do with fixing some stuff. What's the... Ooh. Maybe we could go tomorrow if the... It sounds fucking horrendous outside as well. It might be horrendous tomorrow as well, but let's repair some equipment, I guess. And we can leave these to... Let's take those off in a... Snowy pants. Oh, I got snow pants! Without getting too wet. Hell yeah! Let's get rid of these then. These can go. Harvest these. I need to find some food as well. I don't think there's any food that I can take. As far as I know. These poor people. I have taken some parasites. Hopefully. Did I leave anything in my drawers? Okay, there's a couple of bits in here. Um, let's carry on. I don't think I can open it. Oh no. Search it. Is there any chance I can take some food from you guys? <laughs> Do you mind now I've completed my mission? I don't think I have any food. Oh no, I do have some food. I take that back. I'm sorry, you can keep it all. <laughs> like, do you mind if I steal your food? Okay, maybe maybe I don't need to steal your food. Alrighty. Oh no, I want my snow pants. Thin sweater. I wonder if that's gonna be better than That's that's a shirt. Bandage. Stones there. Take the cloth. Guts hit. Crow feather. Oh, and are they sticks as well? Be worth it. Hit crow bar. Uh. Rose hip? Hit the rose. A lot of painkillers here too. Uh, like I said, I don't want to go too high. Is that better than what I've got on? Okay, let's. That's better. Let's. 
get rid of this then. That's thin compared to what we've already, so we'll harvest that. I do with a scarf, but I don't have one. Okay, so these ones can be harvested as well. No point in me having the unless the one is up. And more cloth is always useful. Uh Socks are doing okay. Boots aren't too bad. Gloves. They're my gloves. Look at this shirt. Look at that. Okay, right. Don't have any more. This is what I need. Yeah, there we go. But this will take us into night time. Then we'll... That's, that's not a drink. That is a lantern. Beautiful. Is there a cooking pot? Do I have a cooking pot? I do. Okay, I can leave this one here. Cooking pot. Let's... Oh, no. How's my food? My food I can hang on to a little bit. Do I have a pry bar? No, I don't. I could do with taking the pry bar. No, I can't. Uh... Let's drop all the stones, because I can pick up stones where- oh my god, wherever. It looks like someone's pooped here! <laughs> right, I've fixed all of that. Maybe I should unload a few times. My trusty hunting rifle. I clean this. I can. Let's unload and clean this. Bit. Just so they're all uh, as good as they can be. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't have the flare gun, but I've got flares. But I have a lot of pistol ammo. I can't reload until I've got inside that. And I've got my O. Oh. Do I leave the flares? I'll leave the flare shells behind and I'll keep the two flares I've got. And I've got a hatchet and I've got a knife, a pry bar, two guns. I have got a simple tool kit. I'm debating on whether to keep that. Then I've got my arrowheads. Do I have my feathers? Yeah, I do. Aw. Oh. I'm afraid just... I don't want just two of them. Is another crow feather? I'm pretty sure I said. I think I need three crow feathers. So, bear that in mind. Oh, sorry. Like I say, I still have a dodgy broken controller. So this is the spare bedroll we have. So let's... How much food? Let's try and get some sleep. I'm past that for a bit. I'll wake up now. The storm, man, the storm. I think we're gonna have to go out in this. Uh, I'm getting a bit. I got. I want to try and keep it. Keeps forever. That's why I want to keep it. Have these. At least for now. Have another drink. Because we've got a lot of water. Sleep for a while. To be fair, we might need to sleep for another six hours. Like, the days and nights are very long. Hello? 
Okay, the weather's still chilly. Let's pass the time for one hour. All right, so. Oh, really? Eat soon. Let's cook. Oh, okay, we can't cook the stuff. Oh, this. Open that and eat it. We just drink it. Glug, 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 glug. Might be a good idea to have some coffee, though, to be honest, just to keep us warm. Put that on. Wow, the weather is cold. We might die. We could possibly die just trying to get to the mine, which is mental. Uh, right, do I want anything else? I don't think so. Good. Yeah, let's take the cured leather. I think we've got enough cloth. Other than that, we should... Four liters, so I won't bother with getting any more. Just having four liters. I think I might just say fuck it and we'll just go once we've had our coffee because it'll keep us warm. Drink. You are not thirsty. Oh. Isn't that a shame? No! <laughs> I should have just drank that instead. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted this one. Oh, perfect. Still hot. Drink it. Yeah. Right, cool. I've got everything I need. Fucking telephone. Molly? Hello, Molly. Well, I don't seem to get a lot of other calls out here. I want to know something. Why did you work so hard to help those strangers? Would they have done the same for you? <laughs> I have no idea. I doubt they would. You probably work all day, every day. Bust your ass to help people. Delivering babies or researching or whatever it is you do. Does anyone really notice? I I'm not sure, but I don't do it for that. You don't do it for recognition because you don't get any. What is this about, really? I could have been something, too. Something more than a farmer's wife. Something more than a cattleman's daughter. I'm sure you could have, Molly. Don't patronize me. I could have been something. But I let him stop me. I let myself be small so he could feel like somebody. I gave up everything for him. And to him, I didn't even exist. I let him make me small. Less than nothing. What happened to him, Molly? I don't understand. Did he hurt you? Did you kill him? There's different ways to hurt people. Some ways heal. Other ways never do. And I told you. The wolves killed him. I called to tell you something. What did you call to tell me, Molly? There's an old radio tower. On the top of the hill, overlooking my farm, you can see the tower from my porch. Not sure if you can get it working, but the radio up there would be good enough to reach Perseverance Mills. You can maybe find out about your guy. The precious mystery thing that he only has. A radio? But why, why'd you wait so long to tell me? But hang on a minute. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I thought this was gonna be easy, but no. She had to be a bitch and be like, hey, go do this first. Okay. So, the safest way is to... Go to the first crossing, 
take a left and follow it all the way around, go over the bridge, and that will take us up the hill to the radio tower. <coughs> that is going to be the, s the best way to do it. Longest way, but safest way. <laughs> Woman! <laughs> I feel like shit, and you'll be making me do more shit. <laughs> Okay, I'll go up your fucking stupid radio tower. Oh my god. Alrighty, let's go. This is, this is, this is how we work. This is how we be now. This is how we do. I hate this. I hate this. <sighs> Uh, at least she's walking fairly quickly, even in this horrendous weather. Shit. The earthquake, man. I don't think I've hit the thing yet. No, coming up. It coming up on the left. Freaking earthquake so man. Yeah. Ain't got time for you fools. But I got the bullets for you. Stop. Ow. Fuck off. I think this is the road. What I need to do is, I need to kill one really. Fuck out of here. Piss off. Right, where am I? I'm on the road. Okay. Hang on a minute. This is the road. I think. What a load of a-holes. Very cold. Very cold. Still on the road. My god. Road is already... I hate this. Oh my god, this is horrendous. I hate it. It was so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. This is horrendous. up to the bridge very soon let's quick take a quick break here
God, everything's wet. It fixed my blood loss. Carry on. <laughs> like to put me in horrible scenarios this game. <sighs> Saved me here. You know. Where's this bloody bridge? God, this is horrendous. I'm gonna have to rest up when I get to the radio station before I can even leave the mountain. Look. <laughs> and poof! Snow in my face. But it's horrendous. Oh, come on. Really? Where are you, little shits? Fuck off. Here's the bridge. Okay, get to the bridge, get to the bridge. Get back! Oh my god, they don't care anymore! Jesus Christ, he's practically fucking killed me doing that. Shit. Oh my god, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it now. Climb the mountain, you've just got to climb it, woman. Get your stamina back. Come on. This is bloody horrendous. Please don't have me fight any more wolves. I ain't got the energy to do this. I'm nearly there. Fuck. Shit. Dim. Fuck me! Keep going! Oh my fucking god! Keep going! 
radio tower. So I have a chance at least. How do I get in? Oh my god, where's the door? In! In! Oh, shit. I can only hope the radio in here is in better shape than everything else in the valley. And breathe. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, and breathe. And breathe. And breathe. Right. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, somewhere to sleep. Oh my god, okay, okay. I'm gonna sleep. No what is I know, sweet. I, I know. You know what? I'm gonna let you. You are probably exhausted. Huh? Please have some water and some food. The last of my food, can I point out. And get some sleep. I will let you out six hours. Go for it, sweetie. Go for it. Hopefully there'll be some food in here somewhere, but get some sleep. Ugh. You know what? I will let you sleep for another six. You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. And then I'll raid the place. Have another three. I, I know I'm making this sleep, but I'm trying to re replenish the health bar that the wolves just obliterated. Because if they're still out there when I get in, I'm so lucky I had that stim on me. God. Have a look around. Okay. Flashlights come to life during an aurora. Mine fucking didn't. I call bullshit on that, Your Honor. Oh, this food. Yes. 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 All the food for me. Ooh, more rifle cartridges. I'll take it. Nope. Not that. Thank you. Oh. Note here. It all happened during a storm, so we'll never know exactly what the hell went on out there. All we do know is that we're cut off from the highway now. Tons and tons of rocks stand between us and the rest of Great Bear. Earthquake? Maybe. Alright. This will come in handy. I don't need those. I need that though. I need them now. Take it. I need some more mittens. They took mine. Combat pants. That'd be better than jeans. And another hat. Thank you. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Sorry, we're doing this in the dark. Apologies. Radio's sure dead. Well, that trip was a waste. I should get some shut eye. And strike off for the mine Father Tom mentioned in the morning. It's time to say bye to Pleasant Valley.
All I'm doing is lying down right now. <clears throat> then you will stop. Guys, stop. She wakes up to that. The radio. It's working. Yep. Not much time, sweetie. Damn. Why can't I get anything? Come in. This is Perseverance News. Hello? Come in. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mill? Can you hear me? We need help. There's some kind of quarantine situation. Hello? Kenzie. What do you mean, quarantine? Mackenzie, is that you? Is there a doctor with you? We need a doctor. We need a medical Shit. assistance. Anything. She heard him, but he can't hear me. We're cut off. <sighs> You're alive. Damn it, Mackenzie. <sighs> You're alive. And on your way to Perseverance Mills. Yep, of course he is. I've got to get there. He lives! Who do you want, woman? What is it, Molly? We have a lot in common, you and I. How's that? We both left our men behind. We both went to Neapol. We're both hiding from our pasts. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. I didn't kill him, you know. I wanted to. So many times. bad as it got at times at least I wouldn't be alone being alone would be worse that's what I told myself I don't judge you Molly I didn't kill him but I may as well have I watched while the wolves surrounded him I knew what was coming I had a rifle in my hands I could have helped them Molly it all happened in slow motion you know like a Does ballet No other way it could end. And I just stood there. Frozen. He was yelling at me to shoot. But I couldn't. They circled. And then they were on him. Yep. Like a force of nature. Molly, why are you telling me this? Because it's important for someone to know. For someone to know what? That I don't regret it. Not for a second. The convict, outside with the arrows in his back. Is that your handiwork too? Yep. They're all gonna pay now, Astrid. Who are? All of them. We've been in the background, in the shadows, invisible, overlooked for too long. Uh uh, not anymore. I'm not sure revenge is the answer, Molly. Not, but it'll do for now. <sighs> Feels good to be on this side of the hunt. So I'm making up for lost time. Take care of yourself, Doctor. You too, Molly. Tell me one last thing. Your pilot. The one you left behind. You one of the good ones? Yes. Yes, he is. But things are complicated. Let's just say I wouldn't want to find him with an arrow in his back. Then I hope to never meet him. It's been good talking with you, Astrid. For a little while, you took the loneliness away. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope you can help those people up in Perseverance Mills and find some peace for yourself. Thank you, Molly. I hope you can find some peace, too. Right, let's try out my torch. It does work. Then check these, and then we'll head off. Actually, do I want to head off? This will come in handy. If I know that they're outside.
The wolves, I mean? Like, outside, outside? Let's get some more shut eye for a couple of hours. Wait for day, and then we'll actually head off and finish. Hopefully the storm's not gonna be too bad, he says. Right enough. Am I walking into something? I think I am. Oh no, I actually came outside. Okay. Right, let me quickly check my equipment. Okay, there's no point in me having that. So a bit of light. I need to fix those mittens to see if they're gonna be better. I've got should be. Them on. It's these got another hat on, which is fine. Might as well. Goodbye, jeans. You have uh, done me proud. But now I have snow, snow pants, and military grade equi equipment to use. Ink? Oh. Right. Let's -a go. What's up, dude? Maybe we should start one quick fire. <sighs> Might as well take the better wood with us. Use this. What the hell's in here? Cherry can. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so much shit! Oh, lucky day. Oh my oh my god, there's so much stuff. Might as well get our heat up, I guess.
What up? And then we can head down. I took water that was unsafe because I'm a dumbass. Might as well drop it. Be a bit of this. Might as well. Right, thank you, fire. Go. Can't really take that with me, so let's head out. Back the way we came. Let's go back the way we came, it's gonna be easier. Once you enter the mine, you will not be able to return to Pleasant Valley. That's fine. I didn't do everything I came out to do, but... I don't want to spend too long in one location if I can help it. can get down down the hill back to the town we'll quickly stop off there to get warmed up again then we'll head on out that's the plan just waiting for the wolf again to be honest I can't check my map and continue walking. Like, just bring it up at the side so I can see. I can't make it back I do have plenty of oil and accelerant to start um, another fire Weather is insane. I've 
I've never felt so cold in my life. Is the bridge? got a ways to go. I don't think we should run into any wolves, but... I think the drama is over, but we'll, we'll keep the rifle out just in case. I heard a wolf, but they ran off. So I'm hoping that my escapades down this path have scared the buggers off. Whether I get to play as Astrid again is another thing. It'd be nice if I do, because I have enjoyed playing Astrid. I've enjoyed this chapter, to be honest. Like, a lot. The, um... I've, I've enjoyed the fact they've put more people into this game. Yeah, that's right. You fuck off, you little shit. Well, you'll see what happened to your friend further down the line who's dead. With a bullet in his skull. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> I don't condone the killing of animals unless absolutely necessary. If it's a matter of you die or they die, then... Yeah, I'm gonna hate doing it, but I will. If it's to survive, as in, like, you're gonna die if you don't kill and eat this animal, then something else as well. But hunting for the sake of hunting? Yeah, that's right. Fuck off. I do not condone the idea of hunting for sports. Ran, welcome back to the stream, my dear. Hope you're well. I see your tracks, dude. May I ask what country you're from? I am British. Uh, and thank you for liking my accent. I don't think I have one. I'm from slap bang in the middle of England. In the Midlands, as it's called. I don't think I have an accent. If you go to other areas, if you go further north in England and further south, you'll find lots of different accents. But I don't think I have one personally but thank you very much for the compliment i do appreciate it you have a german accent in there i don't know i i've got a couple of friends that are german and i to be honest i quite like the german like german as in people germans be people uh, german people speaking german <laughs> i think that german as a language is is very good it rolls off the tongue really well so. Please tell me I'm nearly there. Okay, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly back to the main street. I think that wolf's decided rather than following the road, it's ran off in another direction because it's a silly wolf. Oh, there are all my bullets from earlier. Hey, look, speaking of the dead wolf, there is the dead wolf. I apologise for killing you. I do. Ooh, perfect. Um, But you left me no choice. If I didn't kill you, you were going to kill me. So, needs must, I guess. I'm going to take these crow feathers, though, because I'd like to think that I will find somewhere where I can craft some more arrows for my bow. I should almost be back by now. Hey! 
Okay, let's follow the road. We'll get back into town. We will go inside and steal some of their warmth for a bit. And then we'll head off to the mines and see what happens there. <sighs> you did miss out on a little bit of drama though, Ran. I was literally being chased by an entire pack of wolves up a mountain. <laughs> I had to stab myself with a stim um, stimulant because I was literally on death's door just to get me to get to the radio tower at the top of the hill. It was a little bit eh, but I made it. it. Took some time, but I did make it. I hope you don't mind me calling you Ran, but... <laughs> I tend to automatically abbreviate people's names. One, so it's just easier for me to ask them questions and talk to them just generally, and two, because I feel like it's a bit more personal. The building is here. If you don't mind, it's a high art. Thank you. I appreciate that. I do appreciate it. Let's go inside and steal their warmth, and then we will head off to the mines. Hi, Father Thomas. I'm just coming back again to steal uh, some more of your beautiful fireplace. I hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna stand here for a minute. Frustrated from not getting what I want. It's not the important. <laughs> I know, to be honest, I know some people really struggle with that. I think I was quite fortunate at the time when I started making like my username that I used, Zala Decora, up. Um, people hadn't used it, as far as I could tell. Um, some places didn't don't like you having spaces in your username, so for example, Twitch doesn't normally, so I had to put my whole name together. Um, but for the most part, nobody's used Zala Takora, so I've I've been fairly lucky. But when it comes to using other usernames for things, it's very hard. <laughs> so I completely understand. Right. How am I? Uh, let's have a bit more of that military-grade food I found. Just to fill myself up. Do, 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 do. Okay, for some reason I've got Why Don't You Fill Me Up Buttercup in my head now. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Randomly going to start singing. Nobody wants that. <laughs> Maybe I should sleep for an hour to try and get my health back up to max. Sleepy time. What level of difficulty? I'm playing on normal. Um, but I think the story, as as you go through the story mode, I believe it just naturally gets progressively harder as you go through the episode. So um, at the start of this episode, for example, the weather was pretty kind. But now that we're near the end of it, we've hit the storm that the story has spoken about. So going outside, you are literally hitting like minus 40 degree temperature. That is it. Um, uh, at the start of episode two, I was just plotting, you know, wandering around um, the. Um, I can't remember the name of the place now. I can't remember the name of the place, and I spent loads of time there. Um, but yeah, you're traveling around the location, and then by the end of that chapter, you're fighting a bear. So I think they, they increased the difficulty slightly through the episodes, but I'm playing on normal. You just finished the first one. What do you think so far? I, to be honest, I I think that from playing the first two in like the more alpha stages of them doing the story to now, they've improved so much. I'm loving the additional characters they've added and the fact that they've added like new places to explore. There's more um, like buildings and things to uncover and stuff. And like I say, like I mean, all of these people. Like episode three is so far as much as I enjoyed fighting the, fighting the bear. Um, episode three has been my favorite. The idea of there was a plane crash and it's like, okay, so it's not clearly just us that were over the area at the time when the Aurora Skies decided, you know what, there's no more electricity here and just knocked an entire jumbo jet out of the sky. 
and all these poor people have been you know stranded here i had to go out and find people um and you know get materials and equipment and medicine for all these people so you did episode one five years ago and then this year again yeah yeah it was at least three years since i've done episode one to when i did it recently but yeah i am so i'm so whoops sorry <laughs> I need a new controller. Um, yeah, the upgrades they've done, I have just loved all of them. It's been amazing. All the new equipment, the interactions, the characters. I've just, I've loved it. I have loved it. I need more sleep. Sleepy time. <laughs> yeah, I've loved it so far. Really impressed. It makes me want to go back and do the sandbox mode again. Um, which, when I first bought it, back in like... E, like the very start of alpha i think i got got this game for like a tenner back in like very early alpha stage there was like two maps two or three maps and that was it that was all you could do just go around the sandbox uh and there was only wolves and deer i think there were no rabbits no no um there's moose now never encountered one of those yet uh there was no bears or anything it was literally wolves and deer and fish that was it so the game has had so much good stuff added to it and love it amazing can i go outside now i uh, i want to go out with full health i'm being really like fussy about should i do it should i not i think i'm gonna end up staying here till tomorrow now because i'm such a cautious person <laughs> should i stay or should i go now which is literally what my brain is doing and i can't sing that song either um because it will copyright me <laughs> so that's all you're gonna get also, fantastic song from the 80s, by the way. Very catchy. Love that song. Let go there. Okay, I'm going to stop singing. <laughs> Once it's in your head, that's it. Game over. You can't stop singing it. <laughs> Please excuse my random bouts of... For some reason, when I'm... When my... I'm... To be fair, when I do this, I don't act like this off stream for some reason this is re me being a weirdo is reserved for stream so you're welcome <laughs> not many people get to see the crazy side of me so take pride <laughs> i guess if you want to take pride you take pride take it it's all yours <laughs> probably because i just enjoy enjoy doing this i enjoy i just find it so fun people get a little bit of happiness and entertainment from me that's that's what i do it for and i do it because i enjoy it as well I have fun playing video games. I don't mind other sides. That's true. I can't stop you from doing that. Do I need any painkillers? I should have painkillers. Yeah, I've got pain. I have got a lot of painkillers. I've also got a lot of energy drink. Wow. Uh. God, I'm surrounded by people coughing. COVID. <laughs> so much COVID. I mean, I know they haven't got COVID. They've got hypothermia. They're just, you know, trying not to die. All right, let's just do 12 hours. Let's just try and get the night over with as quickly as we can. Ooh. The storm stopped. Oh my God. The storm has stopped, guys. It's a miracle. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. How is it where we live? They're just uh, starting to do more restrictions. Um, I I am now working from home until January. Um, basic, that's kind of all that they've really done over here at the moment. Um, anybody who can work from home is being asked to work from home. And they are um, rolling out additional vaccinations for people. Um, that's kind of it. Um, Mostly due to the new variant Omicron, I think it's called, um, that's started pestering more people in uh, in good old Blighty. But other than that, um, we're carrying on as normal, really. We're trying to vaccinate as many people as possible so everyone can have Christmas together. Um, <gasps> what a glorious day! Okay, okay, this is a much better... Ah, oh. This game never fails to, like, amaze me with the gorgeous colour palette. 
like i love the art style of this game like the the wispy blotchy clouds and the way the sun comes over the mountains is just gorgeous i love the colors i just lo i love it it's just it's the, one of the main reasons that drew me into this actually like looking at pictures of the game i was like this is gorgeous i love this this is awesome so pretty let's go it's time to say goodbye to pleasant valley and we're heading on to perseverance mills which is a new location they've made not been there before um but we we won't get there with astrid i think that when mackenzie at the end of episode two um i think we'll probably get back to playing him actually to see what's happened with him while we've been playing as astrid so uh, i'm looking forward to that it's going to be exciting see what's happening going on this is a gorgeous day though oh beautiful clear skies no mental snowstorms it's beautiful but do take care of yourself ran if you're starting to have more restrictions you can look after yourself so you can see your family what's important One's got to take care of themselves. Lost enough good people already as is. Good. I'd say that to anybody, to be honest. Just you know, if you can keep to yourself, it's just it's just safer. Whether you've you know whether you've it don't feel a hundred percent or not so you can look after your family and see them at christmas see your friends or if you've got other relatives and things still cold though what we guess in temperature is <sighs> minus 15 yeah. i'd say that's mild to be honest you gotta you gotta go no worries thank you ram for joining i appreciate it have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you again soon You too, dear. Enjoy your Sunday as well. Hey. This is the place. The no trespassing zone. I got my pistol. My revolver. I got my rifle. All fully kitted out. I'm probably going to actually quickly use my... My revolver just because it's faster. Quick drop. If only I could do it as fast as McCree. Overwatch. And then <laughs> let's go again i'm not that good though i just hope we don't run into any more of those criminals this is definitely where we need to go though into the cave system fall somewhere the price we haven't I mean to be fair I don't know how like their game would handle avalanches but I think an avalanche would be pretty cool to be honest I think I have to go up, right? Pretty sure that's what. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go up. Ugh. Oh, it's a deer. Oh, <laughs> I just heard footsteps. I'm like, where, where, what, where? <laughs> Shit! I don't need a mini heart attack at this time in the afternoon, okay? 
I want to live, god damn it, I want to live. Ah. Oof. Okay. Keep going. Oh, I fucking knew you'd have to come and say hello before I left. Better stay alert. <sighs> sure getting cold. Oh my god, there is a few Hey, here comes one of them. Let's go for the rifle. They're gonna have to come to me. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's a few! Did I hit that one? I think I hit that one. Let's keep backing up as we go. Oh, I hit that one! I hit that one. I don't know where I hit it, but I hit it. Now they're being smart. Shit. Shit! My gun's jammed. Quick, get the other gun out. No, the other gun. The gun. Fuck off. Get. Ow. Ow. Um, it's too cold. Get. Can I take? Can I take? Thank you. That was a lot of wolves. I think I did really well there, to be honest. I was just, like, at the right point to... To just be able to move... Um move up the hill so they had to come up to me and I had the high ground. I have the high ground, Danik! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know people like to... Really? 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 Oh, you're not gonna come up? You're just shouting at me. Okay. Can't go in? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, they're coming up to me, so I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm at the top of the thing. I'm just gonna go. Leaving Pleasant Valley. Make sure you've completed all other missions and tasks before. That's fine. I don't need to go. I'm just gonna turn this on. Find a way through the mine. Oh, we got coal. I got plenty of wood. I'll be fine. Stones. Um, let me see. I should have. I've got plenty of fuel, so I can keep this pretty much lit. So Looks iffy. It does. At least it's warmer in here, though. Like, the thought of being in here when there's freaking earthquakes going on? It's not a pleasant experience. <laughs> Do I go this way? Oh my god, this is my- this would be my worst nightmare. It's a mine, all right. Air is thick. Knowing there's earthquakes going on and having to go in here is an absolute- Like, I would not be happy about it. It's just- just- just not. Okay, that's boarded up. Lot of boots. As long as there isn't anything in here. I guess they were just mining coal down here? Fuck. No. No, 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 no. Oh, the idea of being buried down here sounds horrendous. I would not want that at all. 
this stuff will come in handy. I think I've got anything I can. Oh, I can make the arrows. Make one. That's better than nothing, I suppose. Logs, that's can't make anything. That's fair enough. Uh, I can refill my... No! I didn't want to turn it off. Jesus. Check in here. Hmm. Yep. Okay. We'll take this has got to have something in here if it's closed. Bandage? Nah, don't need that. Crate. Okay, let's keep going. moved that rock moved next to my head no 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 <laughs> oh god look it's just barely holding together and i hate it oh my god no 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 ah! fuck <laughs> oh my god no this is my nightmare i would hate to do that it's like the only way through is is through this mine and there's earthquakes happening. That's the aurora. Shit. Please tell me you're not too injured, sweetie. Are you okay? Okay. Nothing broken. Still breathing. Okay, good. Give me that flashlight. You probably duck under. I hate this. I hate this. What, why am I? What's going on with my? Am I okay? Oh my god. Okay, I need a lot of bandages and some painkillers. Let's do that first. Just do these first because it's going to stop me from wobbling. No. Stop. Please stop. This is my nightmare. Bring mine out. I. Oh god, electric. Awesome. Keep away from electric hazards. Oh, there's water down here too. Even better. Mine lifts. Ah, no. Down here. I think I had to go this way anyway. Oh, my God. 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 This God. elevator looks like the only way out of here. We can try the elevator. Another flash. I'll take it. Can't waste the uh, risk guys if we can help it. Ah, 
you open these? I don't know. Right, they're facing. Right, let's just go straight in the elevator then. While the Aurora skies are on. Hello. Fuck. How do I fix the elevator? Any suggestions? At the back, maybe? Maybe this way. I fix it. I need that with a torch. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I can drop this one. Or, well, the one that's got lower. Maybe? Looks like I do. It is. Dangling from the ceiling over. Okay, this is where we need. Shit. Hmm. Needs fuses. Pop out fuses with replacement. Hey, where's the replacement fuse? Where would a replacement fuse be? This way, maybe? I was not expecting to be doing this. No. No. Please stop. Please don't do that. It's not. Don't do that. I'll go that way. Go, go this way. God, be careful. God, be careful. Oh my god. No trespassing. Quite bolt cuz. Please tell me I've missed those. Maybe I've, maybe they're over this Please tell me they're over here. Jesus Christ. Hard hat area. Yeah, no shit. They up there? There's the other fuse. Right. Going way. Yeah. Gotta be a good fuse over here. Can I stand up now? Now? Now. How about now? How about now? Oh god. Fuse in here. Come on. Give me a good fuse. This will come in handy. Yes. Oh shit. Be safer to go back now. Okay.
Wait. There should be enough to start the elevator again, at least. I don't have bulkers, so I can't explore over there. I haven't seen any. If it was something, like, majorly important it wanted me to check out now, they'd be on display. So, the fact I haven't found them means it's just, like, an extra area. Maybe I get given it in, um, is, like, a side mission, possibly. So, I'm just going to take the fuse and just head out of here. The side missions may be something I'll come back and do. Spare time. It's not, like, narrative to the story, then. Me, I can just carry. Good fuse. This way. This is the good torch, so I'm taking this one. Right, we should be able to go in the elevator now. What? What else do I need to do? Pop out fuses with... One of three? Fuck. Maybe do I play instead? One of three. Jeez. Damn it, that burns. Ah, oh, the water's still electrified. Shit. Oh, damn. Okay, this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Okay, now that door's electrified, so stay away from the fucking door. Put it over here, what does that do? Somebody over there. How the frig do I get over there though? Good job I got a shit ton of fuel for this lantern. <sighs> right, we can go up here safely. <laughs> Need to go this way maybe? I have not seen a 
Like another fuse box. I haven't got any bolt cutters either. over here actually that's where I went there oh, here's the bowl cutters best be prepared for anything thanks dude need those let's check over here before we go and use the bowl cutters just see if there's anything no. Oh God, no. God, no. Here we go. Eat. That's enough. Still come in handy. Right, okay. I can barely walk with this much gear. another one from over here which means the last fuse we want i realized it's starting to go dark <laughs> the last fuse we want you just i don't think i've got any battery life Is that better bit of extra light um the best thing we can do last is too much the best thing to do now is to go and get the last one but is there another one that's burnt out? I don't recall seeing another one of the burnout few. Hang a minute, which way do we, we came from? It's so easy to get lost in. Hey, Captain! Nice to see you. How are you, dear? Hope you're well. Hope you're fine. Was the last. That's it. It was the last time very busy. E, you are in the Xmas mood. I'm in Xmas. Well, yeah, I've got my little Christmas tree and my little my little friend Bert here, my little Christmas gonk, Christmas dwarf as well. Apparently, he's officially called a gonk though. I think he's adorable. Yeah, I'm not I'm not feeling too bad. How are you, Captain? It's been a while. Happy to see you here with me today. So we're in a little bit of a dilemma at the moment. We're currently in a uh, a mine while earthquakes are happening so we're not in a good spot right now we're not in a good place actually let's see if my i got a bit of i got a bit of battery life okay here's the last fuse gib this stuff will come in handy Anywhere else we can go. Yeah, this is all boarded off. Okay, right. We got two of the fuses we want. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. I need to find another two fuses. They're currently applying for a new job. Ooh, in an architectural office. Very nice. I hope you get the job, my dear. I wish you all the best luck. 
you can possibly get someone. Just before Christmas. Uh, yeah, it can, it can be. Depend, like I say, it depends on what field you're in, you're looking into going into, whatnot. We've got so many, like, jobs available for, um retail positions and hospitality positions so but that's if you want to go into those positions not a lot of people do but. right okay i need to put fuse in this one and then there's one more fuse box that's it. Sorry, Astrid. Where's the last one that's confunct it? Ah, over here. And then we should be golden. The elevator should work now. Let's try the elevator again. Isn't the game hard? I remember always. I always remember. You. Uh, it can be. It depends on um, your um, what difficulty you set it at. So, because you can make custom games where no animals attack you if you want to just explore the game. Um, you can also get the the ones where um, you can increase the difficulty of the weather so the weather gets worse over time uh you've got the challenges if you want to give yourself a challenge i mean there's you can set it to however you want the preferences to be story mode wise each episode starts off fairly easy and the difficulty increases a little bit the longer you spend in it but other than that the elevator worked at least other than that i mean it's not too difficult The, the thing that makes it difficult is the choices you make, mostly. So you could, for example, kill a deer and come across it and you're like, right, okay, I can harvest it now, which takes more time, or I can quarter the animal and then harvest it at a later date. Um, so that halves the amount of time. So for example, if you were like, now nah, I'm just going to harvest it here now, that could be two hours worth of time and it could go to a snowstorm in two hours time. It means you don't know where you're going. You can't see the direction you're going. You get hypothermia and die. Or you could quarter the animal and find your way back before the storm hits. It's literally down to the decision you make at the time. Because you can't predict the weather. You can't predict what temperature it's going to be. It's all down to having enough supplies you can survive on. But not having too much and being too greedy. Because if you decide to be too greedy, that could cost the whole game because on the um unlike custom ones if you die you die you have to start again it's not like in the story mode where you can start from a safe point but the story modes teach you all the necessary things you need to learn to survive and it's a little bit more forgiving like i say with the safe points so mm, okay But as I say, if you want, if you want to, if you want a mode, a way out finally. If you want a mode where it's like, you know what, I just want to explore. You can make the animals pretty much non-existent to you, um, and they'll leave you alone. Um, so you can explore. You still have to bear in mind that the weather might not be a hundred percent perfect unless you put that to like very mild. Um, and like I say, you can start there, build up your knowledge of the area and where items can drop and work on what you need to get the best equipment, like wolf pelts, deer skins, things like that. They are like the ultimate god tier that will keep you protected and safe and whatnot. And you can get like a bear hide bedroll. So you can sleep pretty much anywhere and nothing will attack you. Like wolves will be like, she killed a bear to make her bed we ain't touching that girl 
We're not, we not gonna touch that girl. No, we're not, we not gonna touch that girl. Yay! We finished it! Episode 3, baby! What the hell? Oh! Lots of orcas are dead. That no bueno. What happened? The world is changing. Yep. Has changed. Oh yeah. The aurora, the weather, the wildlife. It somehow feels like Mother Nature is crying out. Or maybe she's warning us of what's to come. People like Molly or Father Tom or crash survivors. They're just the ones left behind. Damaged people. The hopeful and the hopeless. What would this new world do to them? Will it make them harder? Will it break them? I'm not sure I can help them. I'll help everybody, Astrid. I don't know what I'll find when I get to where I'm going. But what I do know is this. Mackenzie is alive. And he's heading to Perseverance Mills. Better hurry up and get there then. And that means I have to get there before it's too late. You are all skies. To stop this darkness from coming. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna let it happen without a fight. That's my go. Ah, oh, hell yeah! Episode 3 complete. As much as I'd love to, like, you know, watch that just in case there's any copyrighted music, I'm going to skip it and we're going to head back to the menu. Uh, holy crap, episode 3. Awesome source. Amazing. It looks like, according to this, they've added a new location, possibly, to survival mode. So, new shit. Easy episode three. <laughs> I wish it was easy. I really wish it was. It was a lot of back and forth going and carrying people, um, gathering material. Personally, my favorite episode so far, um, just because of how different it was compared to Mackenzie's two episodes. Um, the idea of like having to look after other people, gather equipment for them carry them in some cases back to town and then you've got the wolves chasing after you really really good really good um i liked the fact that unlike well i say i like it there, there's good and bad parts of the wolves that we fought in this episode so they were timberland wolves so they worked together in at least a pack of two or three sometimes four i dealt with a pack of four or five at the end there um, and they kind of like work together to try and take you down. But if you injure one of them, it decreases their confidence in taking you down as a group. And you can actually get to the point where they're like, we don't want to deal with you no more. You just killed one of our friends. Goodbye. So I did like that aspect of it. But at the same time, like the idea of being surrounded, which is what wolves would do, I imagine, in that scenario, is very daunting thinking, OK, there's one behind me. But if I turn around, the one that I'm currently looking at is going to go for me because it'll be like, you're not facing me, so I'm going to nibble on you. Uh, yeah, it's it's good. It's good. I'm very grateful I didn't have to deal with any of the bears that I had in the locations. Um, there was two instances where I could have and I avoided it like the plague because I ain't dealing with a bear. Episode two taught me that. So, <laughs> So this is the penitentiary. I wonder if that's been added to the survival map. Then. Mm. So episode four, I think we're going to switch back to Mackenzie from episode, for episode four. So I'm looking forward to that very much to see how he's doing because in episode two, he got knocked out by a criminal. So I imagine he's going to be taken back to the penitentiary. So we may be having to deal with people as well as the wildlife. So I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be exciting. But... That's it for episode three. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I say, it's my favorite episode so far. Um, here's hoping that episode four is just as good as episode three. 
Um, I am going to take a short break. This is, this is for people watching the stream right now. Out of YouTube. Uh, I'm going to take a short break, get some food and drinks and whatnot, and then I'm going to come back later on uh, and we're going to play some Persona 4 Golden. Um, I wasn't able to stream yesterday, so I'm making up for it by streaming again. So we're going to have another stream uh, in a couple of hours time. Like I said, I'm going to go grab some food and whatnot, and then we'll come back. Back to YouTube though. Hope everyone enjoyed. Thanks so much for stopping by and I will see you guys in the next one. Love and hugs. Take care. And I'll see you on the flip side of the long dark. Take care, everybody. Bye.